here's your EO Live weather forecast. Hope you all had a great start to the work week. Gabe Curtis reporting on this February the 7th, sponsored by Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance. Wide range of temperatures were reported today, 30s and 40s from Le Grand to Ontario, yet higher in elevation at Meacham, we are at 54. That's due to a strong temperature inversion. Yes, we didn't really have much of any fog today, although we are trying to get developing high pressure. We got a warm air mass moving over a cold air mass, and that takes some time to filter in that warmer air into the heart of the valley, but we will get there. 63 degrees, the warmer spot over in Pendleton. Otherwise, we wear the low to mid 50s out west. As we end the overnight hours tonight, most of us will drop down into the 20s and 30s, although colder into the teens at Baker City. Spots of fog will develop along I-84 into the east, especially down towards Ontario. Otherwise, the rest of us will be just seeing some scattered clouds. Heading into today on Tuesday, most of us will top out into the 40s, although warmer up in Pendleton in John Day at 51. We'll be stuck in the upper 30s from Baker City down to Ontario, where we could see a little bit more of that fog throughout the morning hours. Otherwise, the remainder of our region will stay fog-free for the most part with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Heading to today on Tuesday for LeGrand, it does look like this. Isolated fog could be in spots throughout the morning hours. Otherwise, we'll be seeing lots of sunshine by the noon hour. Highs will top out into the 40s with increasing high cloudiness. Southerly winds will be light. Heading into my short-term forecast for the Grand Ronde Valley, I'm tracking 43 degrees for Tuesday, going into the lower 30s overnight. Into the upper 40s on Wednesday, lots of more cloud cover. We might not see much sunshine. As we extend into the seven day period, lots of sunshine will be continuing through the rest of the week. Best chance to hit 50 degrees will be on Thursday and Friday. Our first chance of precipitation with some slight cooling will be on Monday. Right now we could see a mix of snow, rain, and gravel, although the precipitation looks light. This has been Gabe Curtis bringing you the most accurate forecast that you can get here in Eastern Oregon. Thank you to folks down at Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance for sponsoring this weathercast, and I'll catch you all tomorrow.